here with clever ways you can bake beyond the box with our fun and festive holiday desserts. Please welcome back our very good friend, Sarah Michelle Geller. <laughs> welcome back. I love the food stores. I love them all. And every time I'm in the grocery store and I see them, I go, oh my gosh, that's Sarah's stuff. Yes. <laughs> like you realize you're also on television, but I get very excited when no, I see I, someone I, else. I you know? do the same thing. Like if I see someone's billboard, I get excited and my daughter will be like, you know, you've had those too. But it's just different. It is. It's, different. It's, 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 it's a sweet. pride. It's true. Well, Paul was very excited about these desserts, so he insisted yep. that he stick around. Thank you. Thank you. I'll That's make it right. worth your while. And <laughs> Allie and Orly are also big fans, as you can see. These yes. are so perfect for the kids. So you know what? We're doing a lot of baking around the holidays. Not only are these delicious, but they're also easy, which is super important right now. For us, the whole idea is to make it easy, but to keep the integrity of the ingredients, because so much in baking is filled with junk. Yeah. It's these ingredients that you would never want to eat, these chemicals. Mm -hmm. um, we are actually the first nationally distributed brand to be glyphosate free, which is the uh, harmful weed killer that's been found in a lot of Gosh, weeds. So we're the first, yeah, so awesome. we take it really seriously. And so to make it as simple as we can be, because people are time crunch. Sometimes you're one person and you're not yeah. gonna like, you don't wanna be that person. I mean, I would be that person that eats a cake by themselves. <laughs> so, but in case you don't want to, we saw this like rise of, you know, really fast microwaves. So these are our minute mug cakes. Okay. Um, so and they're literally as easy as it sounds. So all you do is you take two tablespoons of water. Okay. And you take the minute mug cake. So mm -hmm. you're basically, you open the pack. It only really looks like a hot cocoa yeah, pack. That's all it is. And then you stir in um, the water, and literally, that's it. You put it in the microwave for okay. what? Oh, thank you. I was like, where's the water? <laughs> you can see, like, you're trying to act all cool. I'm like, I don't see the water. So this um, is genius. Yes. I mean, I so easy. Delicious. So yes. easy. And, and, no and, and, or, and there's no mess. I say that, but you can see that I totally made a mess. Um, well, it's not good unless you make a little bit of a exactly. mess. Exactly. Then it makes it seem like I worked really, really hard. Right, there you so go. that's it. We just put it in the microwave for one minute. That's it. I'm just going to finish stirring. So uh, that's the peppermint milk one, but you also here have a cinnamon swirl one over here as well. Yes, we do. We also have um, a, uh, hold on. So this is hard when you have to do two things at once. Multitasking, clearly, not my forte. Um, but uh, don't, just don't tell my husband. Um, we also have a birthday celebration one, which is great because it's one of the only ones, it's actually the only one on the market where you can have organic sprinkles and dye-free sprinkles because so much Whoa. of it is colored. And as you know, you all have young kids. Yeah, it's like you that don't want to exactly. give. So we spent a really long time to uh, source the dye-free uh, sprinkles. And so it's great like for a you forget someone's birthday you're like here I made you a cake yeah. in 60 seconds no and I know you do your homework and do you do your research you went to see where the chocolate comes from and everything so that's super important yes. as a mom especially I mean everyone here can attest to that having kids I mean, especially you two yeah, moms. I'm, well, yeah, well, well you that, I know, I know. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what these two guys here are very uh, you're great dads, dads. We're, that's we're, right. we're, so this is very helpful I would, would not put something in my son that has glyphosate mm -hmm. like I Thank you so much. For yeah, that. it's, no it's a conversation. Nobody really knows. Well, about I feel this. like it's a conversation that right now it's sort of like the word organic. Ten years ago, right. maybe people didn't really know, and now it's so much in our vernacular. But I feel like ten years from now, people will be like, "We ate stuff with glyphosate." I so know. I, I, it's yeah. a conversation that's happening. Speaking of kids, what are you gonna do with the kiddos, you and Freddie, over the holidays? We are so behind that I literally made our appointment to go see uh, Santa on Saturday. So we haven't even seen Santa yet. So I really hope they've been nice because if they're on the naughty list, they have very little time yeah, to make it up true. to Santa. And Time. Oh, gotta pick it up. I know, gotta so we gotta like town? make it happen. Um, Whoa! We just made that in one. Yes, on television, that. we That's made impressive. it. Um, and then once it cools down, so I'm gonna use this one for a little bit. You can add any toppings that you want to make it special. I love a little whipped cream, and um, I'm particularly fond of this one over here, where they put the gingerbread um, cookie from our mm. kit, which I will then also show you how to make really easy, really oh, good gingerbread cute. cookies. Um, and you can just bring it out for dessert. And okay. While you, Excuse me. Yes. You're emphasizing how easy this is to make, and and the fact that it's got really good quality uh, ingredients in there. But I got to tell you, also. This is so incredibly tasty. It tastes really like, good. In other words, you're not sacrificing. No, right. the... it, it's actually the opposite. Once you start eating really good quality yeah. food, you realize that that's oh, yeah. where the taste comes from. And it's really hard. My kids, if they go to birthday parties now, if it's like store bought oh, or right. like cheap like... box mix, my kids will literally, like, they'll thumb their nose. I'm trying to teach them how to do it nicely so it's not like insulting <laughs> to people. Like this. Once um, you but yes, whole adorable. foods that are come from this planet, you can taste you the difference taste between the difference. chemicals. It's vegetables, yeah. it's fruit, Beautiful. it's anything. When you yeah. have that, like, fruit or co even coffee, like beautifully yeah, ground, like you really yes. taste the difference. Yes. Okay, we okay. made our beautiful. So now, it's, our, now it's, we're gonna make gingerbread yes. cookies, which are also in the food store. So we've rolled up. Gingerbread the can be really tricky because gingerbread gets really sticky sometimes, and like it gets everywhere. And as you can see, I'm so OCD. I don't like to have like a ton of matches everywhere. Okay. So to make the dough, it's really simple. All it is is you get our mix. It's a little milk and um, a little. No, it's no milk. See, this is why you have to listen to me. It's um, <laughs> eggs and butter. That's it. One egg. 
uh, butter, you put it in, and then what I like to do is put it in cellophane into the fridge for like half an hour just to really get that consistency. Okay. And then once you roll it out in our kit, so our gingerbread kit comes with everything you need. So it comes with all of the organic uh, jelly beans that you would need to decorate. It comes Aww. with the frosting, the pit, the piping bag, the tip, um, and it comes with the three cookie cutters so you can have oh. different sizes. And I love this because you make your gingerbread people holding an actual yes. little peppermint candy. So this is a great little trick. So you take a little bit of tin foil and you wrap it up and you put it in the center while it bakes and then you can just pop the peppermint, my hands are clean, I promise, right into it afterwards when you take it out. So I'll show you what that looks like. Okay. Um, so really all you do is mm. you cut the gingerbread. Oh, this dough smells so good. It's right, doesn't it? I know, yeah. it's so hard to like. And then, Not eat the dough. Yes, right, no. don't eat the dough. Yeah, but the truth is we all lived Yes. I mean, you know, they say don't eat the dough, but we used to yep. eat it out of the refrigerator growing up. I, I mean, would eat about half the dough. <laughs> okay, yes, I mean, but, really but we, are, we have I mean, to be responsible adults right now and on national television say we don't eat the don't dough. Don't eat the dough. Okay. Don't eat the dough. <laughs> Whatever you um, do. And then you can do, you can, this way also, it's great because you utilize the whole, so you're not wasting oh, anything. Baby. Yeah, oh, so you can that. take all the little That's ones. Baby is um, and it's great because my kids will have a tendency to eat a lot of them. So if you make the little ones, you're like, well, you had three. Oh, I do the same thing. But you had three of these and mommy had three of those, right? And when you get, right, is that a good Size. That's a good, that's um, a good parenting tip. And that's it. And then all you do is you pop it in the oven for like 13 to 15 okay. minutes. The little guys will cook fast, so I always say watch the little guys. Maybe take them out at 10 minutes and check your oven. Everyone's ovens are different if you live in okay. um, high altitude. Um, and then while um, that's cooking, I like to make the frosting. And so the trick with our frosting is we make it with Greek yogurt. Again, oh, another nice. way to give the thick consistency a little bit or a lot healthier, right? Yeah. Um, and oh, it's really simple. I just um, made your yogurt the other day with my right? daughter. It's good, right? Yeah, your the frosting, I'm with you. Yeah, with the yogurt. And then all you do, put type, uh, piping bag and tip. That's a hard thing to say. It is. Um, and then when these cool down, don't take these out right away when they're hot um, because you will burn yourself. <laughs> so much easier to do. You've later. done that before, I take it? Just once or twice. <laughs> um, and then you can decorate, you know, any way you it. want. You can give them... Um, we like to give them scarves, you give them eyes. Oh my gosh, look um, at that, they the go little, perfect. Uh, the peppermint crunch comes in at the um, all natural dye free jelly beans, the organic jelly beans come in there too. And then also I like to use um, dye free food coloring and you can make all different colors. So we did them this weekend and we did, you know, green, we did brown, we did oh, purple. Sweet. And it's, so and it's, they're really, oh, yeah. So dye free, delicious. meaning if the color comes from things that are naturally that color. Yeah, yeah so something idea? red, berries well, will make anything like red. They used to. Yeah, like, like, like in the olden days. Right, exactly. Yeah, see this. That's what they used to make makeup, by the oh, well, way. Yes. That's what Cleopatra That's did back incredible. in the day. Or she also no. pinched her cheeks a lot, too. Right. Now, wow. I believe it had to do with some beetles as well. Yeah. That's oh, what they got that I'll take a pass on that one, yeah. And um, tell me about why you're making those faces over there, these adorable little cupcakes that are Christmas lights. Oh, aren't they cute? So, again, just another thing you can do. So, we make a regular cupcake mix, and that all we did is we took the green food coloring and we the all natural green which comes from leaves obviously um, and you mix it in. it doesn't I should say they taste exactly the same they have no taste um, and then some frosting and you just pipe it and those are the little like organic um, M&M's that you put in there and it looks like holiday lights and again it just gets people in the kitchen it gets them talking it gets them involved and and it tastes really, really good. All right, I'm going so in. I want, I'm I want to bring up a point that uh, I've got two kids at home, a uh, 15-year-old and a 12-year-old, and uh, guess what they're interested in checking out these days? The new uh, display of Buffy the Vampire. Oh, my God. That's on Facebook. Know, watch, so. a whole new generation of people that is watching. So cool. We all used series. to watch on those things called TV. Right, and right, now right, they right. all watch oh, on these, like, that. devices. Never, never heard of that. This oh, my is shirt. awesome. Yeah, that, I, got, I saw that shirt in a window. I was actually walking um, on Broadway in New York City, and I literally saw that in a window. I had no idea. That is so cool. Um, you I mean, bought it? Back in a big I bought way. it at H&M. Oh my God, tell what me what happened. The what was the reaction to the person behind the camera? No, they're like, wow, like, does anyone ever tell you you look like <gasps> her? I was like, oh, thank you, that's so nice. She's way younger. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's yeah. the best. That's yeah. awesome. Listen. Thank we you, love Sarah, you, Sarah. Thank this you. Is so delicious. Oh, thank you. You want to taste this one or this one? I like to talk. Easy and healthy so at the good. same time.